The second tip for cold calling is to have a really good script. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Okay, so my script is, my, my magic line is, is what in the world can I do to help you? Okay, this works across the board. Why? Because relationships are universal across all industries, across all countries, across all worlds. All right, relationships. People just want to know that the person on the other end cares about them, genuinely cares about them, wants the best for them, is trying to help them. Okay, so that's what it's all about is you want to help people feel comfortable with you. Your number one job is to make people feel comfortable with you. How do we do that? The first way we do that is by being comfortable with them. If you're comfortable with them, they're gonna be comfortable with you. Okay, if you're scared, if you're, if you're timid, if, if you're nervous, then they're gonna be scared, timid, and nervous. Okay, so you have to be comfortable in these situations and they're gonna feel comfortable. If you're comfortable, they're gonna say, yeah, this must be a comfortable situation. The second way you make them feel comfortable is by not trying to sell them too fast. See, this is the mistake most salespeople and cold callers make is they call, they say, how are you doing? And they immediately just try to sell, 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 sell. If they hear no, they try to handle objections. This is the wrong strategy in my opinion. Okay, and just keep in mind, I'm just telling you what I think, okay? The way I believe that business should be built. It's not, I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just giving you my opinion, okay? Letting you see a different side of this, okay? And I think this is really the future of sales, not necessarily just for cold calling, just the way that we communicate. Okay, you could be DMing people. You could use my scripts to DM people. Email, okay, it could be on postcards. I don't care how you're communicating. The fact is, is that we want them to feel comfortable. We don't want to sell them too soon. We want them to feel like they're part of our extended family. Okay, now we're building a business of people who know that we're here for them. When you build a business like that and they know you care about them, they're gonna come back time after time after time again that's when you have a real business. Repeat business, referrals from that repeat business, and referrals of referrals. So you need a good script. I don't care what industry you're in. You know, there's a lot of real estate agents that follow this channel. So I'm in real estate, so I have a real estate script, but this script could be used across the board. Okay, so let's go through it real quickly. Okay, hey, is this Mr. So-and-so? Mr. or Mrs. So-and-so? Hey, Mr. or Mrs. So-and-so, this is Ricky Carruth down at whatever your company is. Ricky Carruth at Remax of Orange Beach, Ricky Carruth at the Ford dealership, whatever. How are you doing today? So this is Ricky Carruth at Remax of Orange Beach. How are you doing today? I'm doing good too. I'm just enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? So I'm gonna say something about the weather to throw them off. I'm not trying to sell them too soon. I'm just trying to see how they're doing, get a feel for what's going on. Now, a lot of people say, that doesn't work, Ricky. You're talking about the weather. They want you to get to the point, da da da. No, that actually loosens them up because a lot of people are tight. And if you will use that weather part as a non salesy way to loosen them up a little bit in the conversation, you can transition. We'll transition quickly in a minute. I'll show you. We'll transition. But we want to get them feeling a little comfortable first. Okay, so we're going to say something about the weather or it could be, hey, what about that Super Bowl? What about, you know, you getting ready for New Year's? How was your Christmas? There's so many things right there but we want it to be short, sweet, and a question to let them respond. Now they may re respond with something very pleasant. They may talk a long time about the weather with you. I've gotten to so many long weather conversations. Um, they may go there with it, or they may be very short. Yeah, yeah, me too, what, what's going on? What, what can I do for you, kind of thing. Either way it goes, when you get to that point in the call, we're gonna, this is our first transition. We're gonna say, I got gotcha. you. Well, look, I don't wanna take up too much of your time, but, that's the transition. Look, I don't want to take it. I got you. Look, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but that is the transition where when we get to the awkward point in the call, because even if you have a pleasant call, it's going to come to an end and they're just awkward. Or if they're just really quick and say, what can I do for you? Yeah, the weather's great. What can I do for you? There's awkward, right? So right there, really quickly, we have to stick it really fast and make it feel comfortable. Now we're going to get into the reason of our call. The reason of our call is if you're in real estate, it's like, hey, a house around the corner just sold. Didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. If we're calling about, you know, car, if we're in the car dealership business, hey, we just got some new cars on the lot. Didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. Okay, it could be anything. Insurance, it's like, hey, we're down here. We've sold, you know, X amount of policies this month. Didn't know if there's anything we could do for you. Or we just got some new 
product end and if there's anything in the world we could do for you. Okay, it's gonna be a statement about whatever market you're in, whatever industry, whatever's going on, and then didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. So we're not selling them. We're telling them something. We're respecting their time, telling them something about our industry, asking if there's anything we can do for them, right? And so it just opens up the conversation. Now we can find out what's going on. We can talk to them. We're not trying to sell them. They feel comfortable. We're having a conversation. We're going back and forth. This is real, okay? This is a real situation that is gonna yield real business. This is the I care about you and I want to help you short and long term. What can I do for you? I'm ready to go to work for you. That's what, that's what this script is. So at that point, they may have something in mind. They may be interested in what you're doing. They may not. Either way it goes, I got you. You know, if they do, then we're gonna follow that down that path and help them and do that deal and sell that product, whatever it is. Find out more about it. Just keep in mind, we always wanna find out why people wanna do things. When we find out why people wanna do things, then we can truly help them. So ask the questions, why? Why are you doing this? Why are you thinking about that? What I can do to help you? Okay, let's do this. Let me create this game plan based on why you wanna do it. And then this is what we'll do. And then boom, we'll get the desired result for you. Boom. If they don't, if they're not interested in what you're doing, we wanna approach it like, I got you. Well, no problem. You know, would you be interested in that in the future? Or is there anybody that you would work with concerning that? If not, I would love the opportunity to stay in touch with you. Right? And then we're going to get their contact information. What's a good email address for you? Is this your cell number? And we're going to put them in our email database. We're going to put them in our text database. And we're going to use that information to do consistent original content across those platforms to build brand with these prospects for the rest of their life. And we're gonna do this over and over and over again for thousands and thousands of people. And the third tip for cold calling is literally to have fun with it. You should have fun with this. And I want you to think about it like practice. Like an athlete goes to practice every day, right? A professional athlete, their job is to go to practice every day, practice and train all day, every day, in the off season, during the season, for the game. Okay, well I want you to think about this is that there's no game Okay, we're just practicing from here for the rest of our life. So I want you to have the same determination as a professional athlete. I want you to wake up early. I want you to get your mind right. I want you to be ready. I want you to go in. I want you to start making your calls and literally think about it as a practice. It doesn't matter if we win or lose. It doesn't matter if we you know, make a bunch of sales that day or not. We're practicing. We're working on our communication skills to learn how to be better the next day and the next day and the next day. I want you to get 1% better every single day. And if you do that, your, your skill level is gonna increase and you're gonna to get to a point where you're making so many sales, it's ridiculous. And you have no idea how you got where you are at the top of the mountain. And it all comes from making those calls, but also the second part of it is getting that contact information and building that personal brand. So like I said, hit that like button if this video helped you out with your cold calls. Leave me a comment if there's any questions at all whatsoever I can do for you. I'm gonna link some videos below of me making cold calls. And just let me know if there's any kind of videos or any kind of content that you guys want. I'll be glad to make it. I'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go!